As a child, I was always used to do my own, my own work, my own artwork, my own objects. Uh, but also, um, because I spent my childhood in the mountains, in the Alps, I was used to looking at adults um, doing their own craft. Craft is a very important um, part of my, my work. Uh, I don't distinguish between, uh, between art and craft. Um, the village where I used to spend my childhood in the summer, the women were all weaving. Uh, the weaving was important and it stayed with me all throughout my life. It's not only the weaving of fibers, it's the weaving of different elements. Um, I then went to Urbino, which is a Renaissance city in uh, the center of Italy, where I went to art school, uh, which is the school of the arts of book, of making books. Um, and that's where I suppose I learned uh, the love of um, the book itself as an object and the type forms and the illustrations, uh, the smell of the paper and the inks, um, and uh, was another layer on my formation uh, until they became a graphic designer as a professional. Um, uh, in Italy, when I was a graphic designer, mostly uh, I mostly worked uh, in designing posters. So again, the image was a very important element of, of, of the poster. And somehow the, the words always took a secondary place. Uh, the visual, uh, the colors, the form, the shapes were the most important part for me. And, uh, but the transformation that started in Ireland was with the word, uh, the written word, the spoken word, the written tradition, the oral tradition. Um, the craft that the Irish people have with words, with making stories, with writing, with poetry. Um, I uh, spent the first uh, two years reading all the Irish writers. I started going to theatre a lot because, um, again, when I came, I started to work a lot for the cultural sector and uh, designing a lot of posters. Um, um, sitting in, in the Abbey transfixed by Brian Freire translation and all the play, uh, the play between the Latin, which is the opening scenes, uh, and then the Irish words and the Irish language and the, and the English. It actually made me appreciate my Italian, my, the, the language, the Italian language much more. Uh, it also made me appreciate the word, uh, as, uh, again, as, as a craft. So going from Italy where uh, I saw the image as being the primary uh, medium for communication. And then the war took on uh, an equal importance, and I suppose that what the stage, the point where I am today, uh, I've reached a point where um, Italy and Ireland, where the image and the world have reached a um, kind of equilibrium. So again, when I was in Ireland, I worked again as a graphic designer for 15 years. So 15 years in Ireland, 15 years in Italy. And, uh, but gradually I realized that um, working, that though I acquired very particular skills, very important skills as a professional, uh, namely working to budget, working to a deadline, uh, being organized, uh, I also realized that <clears throat> as an artist, as a, as, a creator, as a creator, I was also working to constantly to someone else's brief. So it was, ne it was never my ideas, uh, my work, whatever was coming from whatever I wanted to work on, but was always the client brief. I could say that uh, liberation and freedom came the time, uh, 1995, when the ARC, the Cultural Center for Children, opened its door. And uh, at that time, the director was Martin Drury, um, uh, whom I had worked before um, in other, with other projects. And I started to work uh, with the ARC uh, as a graphic designer, designing the, the logos and visual identity, and all the brochures up to uh, 2003. Uh, I suppose that that was uh, extremely liberating because the fact that I was designing uh, for an organization that was about children, was about um, uh, allowing children to be uh, makers as well as observers and to um, facilitate the children's creativity, really allowed me to, to go back and play and, and, and 
again. So a major visual art program which ran for five weeks um, was probably the starting point for my own renaissance in a way. Uh, because I remember that the day I came back, at the end of the program, I took a canvas and painted the first picture after many years and I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped ever since. I decided then to um, open my own organization, to found my own organization which is called Art to Heart and Art to Heart works both with children and adults uh, in allowing and facilitating uh, people to, to be creative. Um, Art to Heart uh, at the moment is working um, in different ways, in different areas, in different settings, in art, community and education. Uh, it also trains adults um, who wants to work with children through the arts and very often what happens is that in, in, in that training week or in those training sessions something opens up in the adults who then want to continue to work in their own, uh, on their own uh, creativity. Um, um, that is something that has been uh, coming strong for me in the last couple of years is the uh, working a lot around stories, story making, storytelling, story painting, story writing and, and as a result of that um, I'm uh, about to publish my first book uh, which is called Iria and which is going to be launched in the ARC uh, on the 22nd of uh, April. It's not a story for children, it's a story for people of all ages.